So viewers, finally I've got some time to make a video of this particular meter which I uh, received a while back. Haven't had time to upload it yet, so it's a uh, 3 weight meter, 110 volts, 2 volt meter method. Um, I did open it up earlier. Unfortunately it sustained a little bit of damage in the post here, typical post. A bit of a dent here in the corner. But, um, we can work around that, so I'm just going to take the device out. <coughs> it's quite a chunky meter, it's quite a nice meter. I'll give you a better shot of it shortly. It's a Spanish meter. Uh, it looks like it has been used for the railway traction 25,000 volts to 100 volts. Weird speed 0 0.105 revolutions per kilowatt hour. Got a three weight dial in it. Reading kilowatt hours times a thousand or megawatt hours. The terminal cover is missing, but we can work out how to connect this thing up. So <coughs> I got already a 110 230 volt transformator, so we can uh, set this device up and see if we can get it uh, spin. I'm in uh, isolation day five. COVID had a positive test, so. Uh, does some work around the place, do a bit of painting and uh, the picnic table, does a bit of painting on the house, a couple of bits and pieces. And in the meantime, um, I'm going to have a play with this meter. The approval date for this particular meter is 1931. Although I think this is a bit of a later version, because uh, a few things I noticed. The drive gear on the desk here is made from it's a bit hard to see it go to the other side. A top of nylon and that is uh, a product which was typically used in the 60s. The older ones, uh, meters of this type have either had a brass drive gear wheel or fiber 75T standard Landison gear concept. So it's a two disc meter, two watt meter method. So that's one element, probably the red element and then at the bottom is the blue element. And if you look at the wires here, we can see it's a bit of luck. We can uh, work out what is draws what. So we got current coming in here. Element comes better out of terminal 3. That will be the potential call. It's the yellow phase or the mid phase. So common point will be there. We ground it and then we got the um, blue element current in, current out potential. I think that contact and that terminal is uh, for driving the solenoids. There's two little solenoids here on the side and they will activate the tariffs so you get a red, black, black, red or black, black default register and it will activate the registers on the meter itself. Let's connect it up and see if we get the device uh, to move. I got the meter running at very low speed. Um, I got it at 110 volts. I got a 200 watt globe running at 100 watts. Or even less, 86, 86 watts here. So, so that's how my tear. Got the wires connected up. Phase in, jumper to that one. Current through the output to the lamp. This common bridge bar is the common point for the potential call, so I've got those wires connected up to there, and then uh, I've got the two tear spikers. Uh, we can click those shortly to at least uh, sort it out. Okay, the meter has been spinning around for a while. I'm gonna have a quick look at the device, the actuators for the contacts, for the rates, low, high rate. And that is by energizing these coils in here. Got two devices in here, so we need to put 110 volts on the external contacts and see what happens. Okay, we're going to energize one of the coils. Um, see what happens. So, put it in here, implementation A. That's the top flag, it's also the top register we'll be recording. Interesting part is how I've conflict we put the second one in. I've got double red. 
and I haven't worked out which one is recording now. So let that spin for me while, double red. And of course, when we pull this wire out, we have only one energizer like this. So we just let it sit. Just want to see what the conflict situation is on this one. And uh, come on, get in there. That is register A and register B. Ah, come on, it's playing hard to get. It is playing hard to get. Okay, well let's see energized for this one. I'll let's see what happens. Top registers zero low, middle registers zero point four, and the bottom one is seven. The energized camera. So here's the wiring configuration. So from terminal one onwards, we got one power in, two potentials, three load out. Go to terminal 10, in and out potential. So the common for the 110 is the middle one, that's just on the bridge clamp. On the bridge clamp, so that's the two potential calls. So I've got 120 one way and 120 the other way. So, yeah. Well, let's see what's going to happen. So most calls are pulled in. Flag. I have determined by both calls energized. The top register is engaged, same as uh, red, black, red, red. Energizers, it runs that top register. So that's the conclusion out of this uh, setup here. That's just the 200 watt globe running at 110 volts. We'll unplug these two wires here. And we're back on uh, this mode. Oh, hang on, there's one more in. It's feeling. Yeah, of course it's warm but not hot. That's good. I've wired up the meter a little bit different today. I thought it gets some more speed. I've got a 2 kilowatt load on it. You can see the disc is flying quite a lot faster now. Uh, the potential calls on the meter are at 110 volts, but the main supply is at uh, 230 volts, 240 volts. Going in from the brown wire on terminal 1, yellow out and 3, in on 10 and out. Do a couple of uh, connectors here, which goes to a 2 kilowatt heater here. In the real world, this meter will be installed as a time switch, the old type of time switch, which can control the registers under different modes. All over here, 210 kilo or whatever. The type of clock here is an, uh, the cover is a KYA, but it's actually an SR1D lenders and gear. It's actually quite a nicely made clock. So I've got a couple of dials, you've got an inner circle you can set up at times. We register one, register two is the outer dial on the clock itself. Um, it's got a weak program in there as well, so you've got a weak dial in there for selective. You've got a top contact and a bottom contact which goes via this lever here. There's a 15 minute contact as well, and that's for maximum demand uh, pointer. It's not used in this case. Oh, it just goes for a click there. And coupling, and then, uh, yeah. This is a lot nicer speed on the meter itself. It runs a bit faster now, too. The little toggle here at the bottom, this is so-called reverse running stop. Tick, tick, 
thick, thick. So the meter goes in reverse to a uh, rotation, it will uh, block the disc. The drum train is all metal, aluminium, aluminium gears, and then it's a gear, beautiful quality. Another I mean, meter concept is from 1931 on this particular meter. Clock will be similar vintage, Swiss quality, made to last the time. So it's 90, 91 years old this device.